Hey folks, I'm out at Justin Rhodes' house. We're getting ready for his hog butchering class starting tomorrow. And I'll be here for the whole thing. Bringing the kids will be down a lot. I'm just coming down to check out his pigs. These are some of the pigs that are gonna get butchered tomorrow. Here we are with the American guinea hogs. Today I wanted to just talk about the difference between this breed of hog and a more standard lean breed of hog. The American guinea hogs are lard hogs. And what does that mean? It means they have a lot of fat on their carcass. And for many, many years, hog fat was treasured. It was treasured. In the old days, animal fat was basically the only fat that you would use in cooking. Um, and it was prized. And hogs are the kings of fat. And they can produce a huge amount of fat on their little fat carcasses. Look at their rounded shape, their rounded backs and sides. They're like little barrels, basically. And that's the classic shape of a lard hog. The strength of these lard breeds is that they're extremely thrifty and over a large amount of time, they can turn a very small amount of food daily into this very valuable product that you can't find in the fields and forests. A lot of the genetics for these lard hogs came from Asia and China specifically. And there's a lot of old classic breeds of lard hogs in China and some of them are crazy looking. So through a series of events, including the industrial um, production of plant-based um, lard, hydrogenated oils, and also through fat falling out of favor in the general health world, lard hogs also fell out of favor. No one wanted to buy lard anymore. And so the pork industry responded by selecting for lighter varieties of pigs that are more muscular, taller, they produce much less fat. What they came up with is pigs that look more like these. Now, these are all red wattles. They, one of them may be a cross, or these two may be crosses. They are much taller, much leaner, and they grow much, much faster. Look how long their legs are compared. And they're so muscular, so tall and muscular. Many people are surprised when I tell them this, but a pig at six months old can weigh 300 pounds. American guinea hogs, on the other hand, grow quite slowly. So our pigs that are, how old are they now? They're over a year old, and I think they're probably 150. So why would you even want to raise a lard type hog in this modern world? Well, there's two reasons. One is because you want the fat. You might want to render it for lard. You might want to um, leave more fat on your cuts for the added flavor and richness as you cook your food. The other reason is a smaller pig and a slower growing pig can be more manageable for a small homestead. If you had the goal of raising a pig just on your food scraps and excess crops and food waste, a smaller lard type hog like the American guinea hog would be a great pig for you because you don't have the volume every day to feed a, one of these large pigs. They grow so fast, they eat so much. Plus, with the American guinea hog at least, they are very docile and very manageable in their size and their lack of aggression of any kind. There's the outdoor butchering area set up. I took this opportunity because it's not every day that I have American guinea hogs and a lean breed side by side. So there you go. We're looking forward to tomorrow. We'll probably post some short videos because I'm gonna be busy all day, three eight hour days for this class. So I won't have a lot of time to edit, but I'm hoping to still push out some videos and show you some of this event from 
my perspective. I'm so excited to be learning how to masterfully kill pigs. All right, see you tomorrow.